Hey everyone, it's Tim Oltz and I'm here at Sizzix headquarters. Now, do not adjust your screen because what I'm about to show you, you don't need any special glasses to see it. What I'm talking about is 3D. I'm so excited to introduce you to the new line of 3D texture fades. And what these are, these are actually a really heavy duty, very detailed embossing folder. And you can see here that we're starting out with four different designs. And each one has a whole different aspect in dimension and texture. And we've really amped up every little bit of detail in these folders. And these folders, when we talk about 3D, that means it actually has some dimension to it. And I want to share with you what we can create with these. You can see here that whether you're embossing paper or metal or any of your substrates, you can see the detail. Like, Take a look at this clock. This is done with just metal foil tape. Look at all of that detail in that texture fade. Unbelievable. Even for something like collage, like background paper, unreal how much detail you can get in your background. Now even if you're a paper crafter and you want to just use it for cards, 3D is perfect background because it makes all of your die cuts and everything else really pop. And take a look at this one, even wood grain. Now I'm so excited for 3D because of all of the detail and definition and I want to share with you how you need to actually approach 3D because it is a different, different animal altogether. Now the folder itself you can see is a different color. Right off the bat, it's totally different color. It's not clear. So keep that in mind. If your embossing folder is not clear, it's 3D. Now the ones for alterations are kind of this smoky color. Uh, Sizzix has some other colors. It's a coral color. So keep that in mind. Now you'll also see this is a very thick folder. Okay? You can't even hear it. It's thick. So we have to approach how we use this completely different. But I want to share with you the detail in this folder. When you open it up, you can see all of that design that is raised and recess. So this will emboss and deboss the design as well, whether you want kind of that inny or outy effect when it comes to the design. All right. Now I will say that, how did I choose these? Because, you know, if I have to start with four, how do I pick this? Well, I started with the floral one that I just shared with you because I love that. But the next three were inspired by some of my previous texture fades that I did in alterations. And there's still some of my favorites, like this one of the gears. I love that the rivets here, right? These are the original texture fades, the rivets, and even wood grain. Okay? But what I love about Sizzix, and I've said it so many times, is the ability that we always want to push the envelope, right? We have some technology, we have some products, but we always want to go beyond. We always want to do better, and that's really what 3D is all about. We can take a design that is normally like this. This was a regular texture fade, very cool. But take a look at how we transformed it with 3D. Are you kidding me? All of those different levels and planks and everything, that is the detail of 3D. So now that I've kind of hyped you up for it, let's show how it works, all right? So when we go and use these folders for 3D, here's what you need to understand. Because it is a thicker folder, we only need one cutting pad, all right? That's the first thing you need to remember, whether using a Vagabond or a Big Shot. When we take this, it is one cutting pad because it is very, very thick and it needs that pressure. It's already figured out for you, all right? Another thing when it comes to working with it are the types of materials that you can emboss that hold that 3D texture. Keep that in mind as well. Even though we've embossed many materials that you've probably seen on videos, everything from uh, canvas and fabrics and flexible things, we want something that's going to hold that shape. So I prefer to use things like heavyweight cardstock because that's going to really give it some definition, but also hold it in there. Now, of course, metallic, one of my favorites. Let me just take you through the designs real quick just so you can see how they look embossed on that metallic. We've got, here's that floral, and this is in kind of a gold cardstock. Take a look at silver. I love the way the light can hit all of that detail. Look at this one. This is wood grain, right? So wood grain, maybe you wouldn't normally use it with metallic. It could be craft cardstock or watercolor cardstock, but take a look at all of that detail that you're getting in there. And I'm sure this one's really shining into the camera, but I love that. I love all of the different layers the highlights, the contrast, all of that with 3D. That's the rivet one. Look at that one. It's in golden brass. Oh my gosh. So, so cool. And then, of course, the gears. Wow. Look at that. I mean, all of that little detail, all of that little embossing, whether it's a little screw or a little rivet or all of these little detailed elements. So cool. Those are the four designs that we are starting out with for 3D. So because of all that detail and because of how intricate this folder is, there are some tricks besides that one cutting pad that you have to remember when you're using it. So I want to share with you just a couple of materials because I don't want you to think, wait a minute, I don't normally use metallic cardstock, so I don't need the 3D. It's not just metallic cardstock. Obviously that's cool, but you can use things like your favorite watercolor cardstock. 
You can use mixed media heavy stock. Now, these papers have a variety of weight. It could be an 80 pound cardstock, 100 pound cardstock. Watercolor, this is 118 pound, which is a really heavyweight paper, and the 3D folder will handle that. So keep that in mind. Let me share with you how I'm just going to run it through just to give it a pass. Now, because paper, cardstock specifically, is rigid, we need to kind of soften it up. We want to make it a little bit more pliable because as we go through these folders, it is going to reshape or give that 3D definition to a design. If we go in with just dry paper, it doesn't hold the design as well, and you could risk actually ripping through your paper depending on the thickness. So here's what we're going to do. You're just going to take a mister bottle, and we want to actually mist both sides of that paper, right? And you can give it one or two sprays. We're going to flip it over. I actually have two pieces here. I can feel it. There we go. Let me take this off. Look at that. See? You know your papers. I'm even going to spray the metallic side, right? Because this is Ideology Metallic Craft Stock, so this is actually an inked paper. So even though the water sits on there, no problem. Then we're going to place this into our folder. Now another thing to keep in mind about these 3D folders, these are slightly larger than our regular texture fade. Okay, our regular texture fades are four and a quarter by five and a half. These are actually four and a half by five and three quarters. So a little bit bigger, so you'll have a little bit more working area, especially for like mixed media projects. So you can see my paper starting to curl up. Don't freak your freak, it's fine. I'm just gonna fold that down. And then we're going to place it into our machine. So what I'm going to do is I just have my regular platform, no adapters, no nothing. Take our 3D folder and I'm going to place it down, right? Put my cutting pad right on top and put it in the machine. Here's what we have to understand when we run this through. As we run it through, it's gonna have a lot of pressure that's going to be engaged. But because we have so many highs and lows in this design, one pass, I think, just isn't enough. So I wanna run this through three times. So now I'm going to just reverse the vagabond. I'm gonna go right back the other way. And I'll even go a third time. Now, if you can, you can even adjust your folder, right? So if you have this here, you can take that, give it a little twist as it goes through the, the machine, completely up to you how you wanna do that, right? Sometimes it depends on the detail that I wanna actually move the folder. Most of the time I just do three passes and that works for me. All right, so here's what we're going to end up with. Are you ready? Take a look at that. Are you kidding me? This is 3D. Look at all of that detail. That is so incredible. And that's a metallic side. This is the craft side. So look at just that debossed. Wow, that is unbelievable. Whether I'm gonna go in with chalk or ink or paint or anything, that to me, man, that is the beauty of 3D. So cool. So let me take you through and run just some other materials because I think that's really interesting to keep in mind when we're working with 3D. I think for this one, uh, let me just take the gears. And I'm just gonna show you the gears just on cardstock because Again, I don't want you to always think, hey, I have to use metallic. No way. You can do all of your inking, your painting. You can do all of your mixed media background first if you want to, or you can do it after. It's completely up to you. But remember, we're going to go in with our mister. Just going to give just a couple of mists. Just depends on your mister bottle. You don't need to soak it, right? But we definitely want this to be slightly damp because that's going to help form. Now, because I've had this cardstock cut smaller, I love the fact that if this is going on a card front, I can kind of pick the area that I want to go in and emboss. And now I'm just going to close this up. Go back into my machine. And this is when you gotta love the Vagabond. Just hold my button. There we go. And now I release the button, wait for it to stop before I flip the switch to go backwards. So don't get too ahead of yourself where you try to flip the direction of the motor when you're pushing the button. That's not good for the Vagabond. It won't like it. So stop, flip that again. Now we're gonna go back a third time. Okay, and let's take this out and take a look at our paper. Oh my gosh, every single time, really. Like, look at that. Look at that detail. Regular, this is just heavyweight cardstock, and you can see here that when you're going with it, you get all of those highs and lows, the tiny little details that go around every single gear, and that's what's interesting about 3D, that normally with an embossing folder, we just have one high area, one low area, but with 3D, it's all these different depths that we've created because Sizzix has painstakingly, really, they are like the leaders in the industry when it comes to the detail for the 3D ability of that. I love just the little rivets, the little screw eyes, every little detail when it comes to 3D. All right, so a couple things to know when, uh, when we're working with this. If you have thinner papers, let's say we're not working with heavyweight cardstock, I was showing you watercolor cardstock and all of that. 
You do wanna keep that in mind because sometimes, even if you've sprayed it, even if you've done all of your things, if your paper is too thin and you have that 3D that's going to create that depth, it could tear through the paper. Now, if that happens, one of the things to keep in mind as a card maker, if you glue it down on your card, chances are you're not even going to see that tear. But if you have a design that you really want and it's ripping through your paper regardless of what you're doing, the simple solution, you need thicker paper. So I wanna demo one more just because, well, because I can. That's the cool thing. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna take our metallic again because I wanna show you a, one of my favorites, of course, which is the rivet. I love this one. All right. Who knew that just watching paper emboss would be so exciting? Well. I did, because it's like getting a new toy, right? When we have something different. So again, I've sprayed both sides, put it into my folder, and I go back, one cutting pad on top, and we're gonna run this through. And you can even hear on the Vagabond, like it, it puts a little strain, so if you're going to be using the Big Shot, you know, it's good creative cardio right there, kind of turning that handle. All right, I'm gonna go one more time. Here we go. All right, now where do you see this one? Because this one has really cool details, details that I absolutely love. Here is what's cool about this one. Now, take a look. Not only do we get all of these different metal pieces and all these little rivets, but I want you to try to take a look at all of these little dents. If you can see these little divots and imperfections in the metal, that is actually molded in that embossing folder. You see those little pitted dents in that smooth area? So not only do we have these great layers and all these little rivets, when you look at it, it looks like dented, riveted metal. Because if we're going 3D, we don't need any flat surface. We need everything to have dimension and texture. And that is what I love about the technology and the new 3D texture fades from Sizzix.